Hey guys, it's Conf Calibus Studios here, and in today's video we have two absolutely huge documents that have just been released per the Jackson Township Planning Board. So as you guys know, Great Adventure is having a meeting, will we'll be present at the Planning Board meeting for Jackson Township on December 18th, and just like was the case with Dorney Park, ahead of the meeting, they have to release documents, and here they are. So there are two separate documents, I'm going to go over both of them in this video. The first one outlines basically everything we need to see and know about flash vertical velocity, shows the Q footprint, shows the ride itself, the placement, all that. The second document is all about Savannah Sunset. It shows the new parking arrangement, all the new buildings, where they're located. So I am going to start off with the document for Flash because I imagine that's what a lot of you guys are clicking on this video for. So without further ado, let's go right into it. This one right here, this is not really what we're going to be paying attention to. This though is what we're going to be paying attention to. So you can see right away, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here just so we can see what's going on. Right here we have Cyborg Cyberspin and there's Justice League. There's that landscaping thing. These are the picnic areas. So it looks like the catering area will stay. That is not going to move. So they're actually doing the queue a little differently than I was originally anticipating. I figured they would redo this whole picnic area over on this side into like the whole plaza and everything for Flash, but they're actually doing it a little different than I was expecting. The whole plaza is going to be on the other side where the Arboretum and that Cyborg Path currently is. So it's going to really hug Cyborg Cyberspin's queue. I wonder if they're going to make any changes to that queue so that it looks a little better alongside here. But judging off of these blueprints here, it looks like the main entrance is going to be right here next to Cyborg. So I'm going to try to grab a screen grab from one of my clips from the vlogs to show you guys exactly where this is. But that's where it's going to be. You can see the little portal right there and a plaza as well. So definitely going to be expecting to see some really cool stuff for Flash. From there, you go through the queue alongside the transfer track and maintenance building, which is going to be right here. That runs pretty much right where the Arboretum currently is, so the station is a little further past it by that fence we saw. The spike itself is going to be pretty much right in the middle of the Arboretum. So then from here, you're going to go into this queue locker and shade structures. So this more than confirms that lockers will be in the queue for Flash, which is something I've known for a little bit of time now, but it's great to see where exactly they're going to be. So pretty much right as you enter the queue, so you're not really going to be able to film inside the queue. And you can see that there are two enclosed buildings for the queue here which has me really excited because it's very possible we could see a pre-show. We saw this with Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. There's a pre-show on that attraction. I imagine Great Adventure is trying to go all out with this ride and make it the best they possibly can, considering that you're probably gonna be waiting a little while since it's only a one train operation coaster. So I could definitely see something going in this queue structure here. From there, you're gonna wrap around this side going right next to the first element of Flash, which is that Immelman stall type maneuver. Then you have another sort of building here, and it looks like the queue kind of splits a little bit, and they both lead into the station here. So it looks like you're going to enter and exit on the same side of the station platform. There's no set of staircases that go down this way on the other side of the station, so it does look like it's going to be a one-sided station. So I presume one of these is the exit path and one of these is the entr entrance path, which would make sense because over here you can see a separate path that is not underneath the portal right here. That's probably the exit, so for the exit, of course, you're going to have to wrap back around through here, go back to the lockers, and then walk around this way. So from there, though, if you're going through the queue, you're going to go up into here. This is the station. This is where you board. And now we're going to follow the track layout to see exactly where everything is. So, of course, you have that Immelman stall. You come around here. This is where you have that second booster launch, and you go up into the double up. So the first airtime hill of the double up is pretty much going to be right over the midway here. Then you're going to have the other step up and dive down. So just for some perspective here, that is the little game smooth right there, the basketball net. That is right there. The bathrooms are right here. So Flash's dive loop, or not dive loop, but dive maneuver is going to be right next to everything here on Main Street. So that's really, really going to change the way Main Street looks completely. I cannot wait. Or Dream Street, rather, sorry. Dream Street. This is going to be right up along against Dream Street, kind of near the fountain. So this is definitely going to be the closest coaster to the front entrance. So very, very exciting to see that. From there, of course, you dive down to the third booster launch where you go over the zero-g roll, and this zero-g roll is going to be right over the midway, which is so exciting. This is probably why the ride needs those lockers, because you're going to be going right over the midway with guests, 
and then you're gonna go up into the spike and go through the whole thing backwards. So just for some perspective here, you can see all the footer locations as well with these sort of, sort of boxes. They're all over the place. There's not really that many though. I was not expecting Flash to jet this far into this area as it is. I definitely was not anticipating that. I thought it would be a little more located this way. I thought the maintenance area would probably be where this Q-shade structure is, but it's a little pushed back from where I expected, which I think is good because now they can keep this whole catering area, which is a really, really nice location. And that whole thing is still going to remain blocked off because it looks like they have new fencing installed along here. So. That's definitely going to keep that area nice. You could use that for all that stuff and not sacrifice it. Now over here in the plaza, we have some really, really exciting stuff to look at. For one, the Arboretum is not going anywhere. Well, it kind of is. It's moving across the street. They're going to put the Arboretum over here on the other side of the midway, and it looks like it's going to be a lot bigger and better than it was before, and it was already really nice. There's a brand new retail location going in right across from Flash's entrance, as well as a brand new food location. This looks like a little snack menu right across from where you board on Cyborg. So this is really gonna change the entire landscape of the Metropolis area. Metropolis has always kind of been, you go to Cyborg Justice League and that's kind of where it ends. But this is like a whole new expansion onto Metropolis. There were many rumors back in say 2020-ish, around that time that they were gonna build out this whole area to be Metropolis. And it looks like we're seeing the start of that now, which is really, really exciting. I cannot wait to see this come to fruition, but there's a lot to unpack here. And just for some perspective, you're gonna be walking pretty close to Flash when you're entering the park. It's not really a front gate coaster, I wouldn't call it that, but this ride is really tall. This point right here with the spike is 160 feet tall. So when you're entering from say over here, you're definitely gonna see it. I think a lot of people are underestimating what a presence this ride is gonna have in the park. It's gonna be really, really big. It has a very small footprint, but it's gonna be a very big and exciting attraction. Definitely gonna be a popular one because of its location. So I am very excited to see how this all progresses. I'm glad to now know what exactly to look for. Also, we also have this electrical room, which is right here next to the spike, the farther half of the spike next to this booster here. And we have the transformer, which jets off this path right here. It's actually very close to where that sort of opening is for where the Arboretum is. Right now they have those holiday decorations there, but that's pretty close to where that is right now. So that's gonna do it for my analysis here of Flash's document, like I said, really exciting to see exactly how this is all going to be laid out. I cannot wait to see it constructed, but now we're going to switch over to Savannah Sunset. So I'm going to start off up here so you can see exactly where it's going. It's going to be going right here where Camp Aventura used to be is replacing Camp Aventura. I'm going to go past this one here and this is what the resort is actually going to look like. So right here is the large lodge tent. And then we have a bunch of circles around, as well as just some connected pathways where all the different tents are going to be. So you can see these four right here are all one size. That looks like one of the smaller sizes. Over here, we have a couple of them that are all sort of three-legged, if you want to call it that. They all have three nodes to a point. So those are those. You have this one right here. It's just like these ones over here. And you have the giant one, which is four. So I believe this is the one that can sleep up to six, but I think you could have more people in it. And the whole entrance to it here is gonna be a giant sort of horseshoe where the buses or the safari trucks are gonna drop you off, presumably over here. This looks like the kind of check-in area, and then you'll kind of walk from there. Now, a lot of questions that people have been asking about this project is where you're gonna park, how you're gonna get there. So that is answered right here. The whole entrance of the safari is gonna be a little rearranged, so this road right here is gonna be new, it looks like, the red road. All the patrons are gonna park right here, which is right by Zoom and Jara. You can even see the shadow of King Dakar right here. This is that parking lot where you exit the safari currently, or at least previously when it was a drive-through. This is that parking lot right there, so you're just gonna park in there. And then the safari trucks are gonna drive you out into the safari. I believe you actually get to go through the safari on your way out to Savannah Sunset. Now, as for getting to the park itself from Savannah Sunset, no details have been shown off on how that's gonna go. We just have the plans themselves, the raw details. What we can see though is that the red arrows are the flow of the safari traffic, the safari truck traffic, and the blue are the flow of the patron traffic. So patrons are gonna come in through the toll plaza for the safari, and instead of going straight like you would for the drive-through, you're gonna turn right. 
So I guess there's going to be a car, uh, traffic guard right here making sure safari trucks and patrons don't crash. Then you're going to come in here, this is your parking area, and when you leave you just exit out this way and you'll follow your way out to 537. Safari trucks, they kind of make a big U where they just turn around and pick people up over here. It looks like this is going to be the new loading dock for the trucks. You can see it's all set up here. They're going to reuse a lot of what's there. They're pretty much just putting a new loading dock and new concrete on and off ramp, which is really nice to see. It's not going to take too much for them to do. But that's pretty much all I have for the Savannah Sunset portion. I think a lot of us were definitely more excited for Flash, but I think Savannah Sunset is going to be huge. It's going to be very successful for the park. And this is just stage one. I imagine it'll definitely grow in size as it becomes more and more popular. So this is definitely very exciting to see. But I want to know what you guys think about the plans for both Flash and Savannah Sunset, the two most major additions coming to Six Flags Great Adventure in 2024. I am so excited about this, and I will be covering all the construction on both projects as much as I can. I recently posted a Flash vertical velocity construction update, so if you guys want to check that out, it's linked down in the description, so feel free to watch it after this video is done. But with that being said, that is going to conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.